What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? So I'm at the checkers. Um, we're going to install the parts uh, that I ordered, which is a board and a valve. I'm going to change both of them. I think I could just uh, change the board and uh, go from there, but I mean, I'm just going to kill everything uh, with one. I had talked to my coworker the other day. I think he told me that they changed this board before. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if they had turned it off, but I'm finna get this thing going. It's iced up. So, yeah. All right, guys, so I need to move all that product so I can have enough room to work. Uh, I guarantee they probably forgot to turn it off and all that. Uh, I'm not sure if they have been uh, turning it off, uh, but the coil is gonna have to be de-iced. We got ice on the back side and front. I'm gonna see if I can force it in the defrost, see what the heaters can do, and uh, just go from there. All right, guys, as you can see, it's completely iced up. All right, guys, so I'm gonna speed up this process. I did ask some energy, they said it have been to, uh, turning it off and all that, but uh, if it wasn't able to pump down, um, I mean, the unit would still been running anyway, even if it went in defrost. But anyway, I'm gonna wash all this up and uh, start changing the board out. Well, I'm gonna actually unhook all this because I already got the power off. Um, take some pictures, uh, have access to that valve so I can change it out. I got everything pretty much set up. All right, guys, so I got the coil nice and clear all around. Uh, I had used my reg magnet tool, the manual tool, to open it up because it wouldn't even open up at all. Uh, so right now I'm going to go up top, pump it down, and then uh, get this valve out. All right, guys, so I got all my sensors uh, disconnected, like this defrost probe, this transducer, uh, also the suction um, uh, probe. Uh, but this is the new valve, so just make sure... It goes in the correct place. This is what a 2024 one. That's a 2018 look like. Um, so I got a rag right here, uh, all nice and wet. So what I'm gonna do is probably hmm, sweat this end off and pull it out that way, and then sweat it out and pull it down and hurry up and uh, sweat a new one in. So it shouldn't take me that long. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get footage, but um, I'm gonna show y'all the aftermath. All right, guys, so I got that part sweated out. Uh, now I'm finna get this part and uh, get her out. So y'all not gonna be able to see me. Alright guys, so this is the old valve. Um, make sure y'all put the screen in. Uh, the Corel kit come with uh, the screen and all that, so make sure y'all put that in. Um, once we put it in, I'm gonna wrap the valve. Uh, I'm gonna uh, weld it up, and then when I get ready to um, turn the unit on and all that, well, I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn it down first. I'm gonna close this all the way first, and then I'm gonna uh, weld it up. And then when I get ready to open it up, I'm gonna open this one by uh, just a little bit and then just uh, place the new stator and all that on there and it should modulate uh, between there. Um, so yeah. All right guys, so I got that uh, Schrader uh, stem out right there. Uh, but anyway, sanded it down, finna just put it in. And once I have it on, I'm gonna wrap the valve, uh, weld it real quick and go from there. All right guys, so I got that valve in. I had moved that um 
bracket right there so we can have enough room to weld really well. And uh, I'm gonna wrap this up, weld her up real quick, and uh, get out of here. All right, guys, so we got the valve wet. Now I'm finna just weld her in. All right, guys, so this is my finished product. I hate it, but we will we weld it all around. We got some good boogers. Um, I know I need to keep the heat on there, um, but the I can't. I ain't gonna make no excuse. I know I should, you know, keep the heat on there, but it's nice and boogered up. That's a good thing. Uh, this was much better down here because when it turned uh, red hot, that's when I uh, applied it and uh, a lot of sorry to go around. But um, what I'm going to do is go back in reverse order, um, add a bracket, tighten it up, and then I'm going to change this board out right here. Um, like I said, it's kind of weird. I'm not sure if this board is not... Uh, uh, sending uh, the proper signal like it's supposed to to that valve or I don't know if the valve was like really stuck to where it couldn't open up and feed uh, this evaporator coil um, but when I do put in defrost it do pump down and all that um, but like I said I just want to be on the safe side just uh, replace both uh, I mean I've done that before I always had good luck I replaced the valve before had good luck I just replaced the board before and I just had good luck um, so I barely be on these, but I be trying to refresh my memory, try to stay up on them. Um, they not bad at all. Um, they just hate them sometimes, though. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna quit all the talking. Finna uh, get everything pretty much back together. Finna put my uh, straighter stem back in, and uh, yeah, just go from there. All right, guys. So this is the new board. This is the other board. As you can see, kind of have a difference in the screen. Um. So everything should plug in, honestly, like it's supposed to. So I'm gonna just uh, do wire for wire. Um, you can take pictures and all that, but I typically just uh, do wire for wire. I probably don't need to take a picture because everything is like uh, self-explanatory. So it's not that hard. Right now, removing the screws on each corner. Ooh, show the card and this board is going to drop out only thing that's going to probably hold is the wires as you can see it want to come out but it still got everything attached so what I'm going to do is go wire from wire Six. You don't have to do this. Huh, I'm gonna say what the hell? Be very careful. Let me know if y'all go wire for wire. Um with anything. I know even the techs that's older than me, they go for wire for wire. Of course they older, but I guess everybody just, I feel like everybody the same on that. Cause everybody be like, take pictures, always take pictures. And you think you're gonna remember, but then it's gonna be that one wire that you don't know where to put at, which gonna suck and blow you out the day. And make sure everything snap in. Uh, I might say I'm doing something wrong. I thought the wires had to uh, go out. I just forgot. This is the E, the E E V, the E X V harness. I'm plugging that in. So we got that out. I'm gonna switch over. As y'all can see, y'all see how easy that was. I'm finna go to screw this uh, top part in. So we can go from there. Okay, well, I guess it ain't going to screw this for me. Uh, it's uh, kind of a tight space. I'm not going to let you go. 
Anyway, I get back with y'all and I'll show y'all when it's done. And also, when we add this new board, we have to reprogram it. Um, I save uh, these two photos. Uh, my coworker, he's an older guy. Um, he got a book of how to like program and all that. I think it's like the thermo cool. Uh, but anyway, everything about uh, correlates the same. I got the cooler uh, parameters and I got the freezer parameters that I saved. And I just recently take a screenshot because that's how long it just been. Um, but um, yeah, after we turn the power on, we're gonna have to program it. We're gonna have to like set the um, type of Freon, uh, how many uh, defrost we wanna run, do we got electric, all that little good stuff. All right guys, so I got everything in place, made sure everything was nice and tight. Also got all my sensors uh, for the room temp, defrost, uh, temp probe, suction uh, temp probe, and then uh, the suction pressure, uh, which is the transducer. Then we got our uh, power coming in here. Got our uh, ESV up here. And I think that's all for the fans and all that. We got everything back in place. All this being like this, I just added these two little zip ties to tie in to it. It kind of looked like a hot mess. Um, but as long as everything is functioning, that's all that matter. Yeah. I got everything in. Make sure you have the right probes in the right area too. Anyway guys, I'm finna put all this back and then I get back with y'all. And one other thing, this is the new stator right here as y'all can see. So we're just gonna slap it on and then they got the nut on the other side. So yeah. All right guys, got my gauge hooked up out here. All right guys, so right now I'm leak checking. We don't have nothing. Thank God. I have nothing. All right, guys. So right now I'm finna program. All you have to do is hit the program uh, review button and uh, just follow follow the manual through, which I probably just have uh, somewhere right here. And this knob help you select. So you got air, which would be for a cooler, but it's going to be electric. So I'm gonna put enter. And when I put enter, it's gonna say. all i did i was in the monitoring thing but uh wait anyway i went to program and i did all my settings and then if i want to save it in the memory i just press enter and just go to program review and i can use this knob uh to go through different functions uh but anyway um i went to monitor i'm checking the step rates right now it's running though we wasn't seeing this before that's a real good thing. I gotta tighten this down too. But I need to go up top and check my uh, sight glass. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I need to check it. All right, guys. For some reason, my compressor had overheated, so I had to cool it down because uh, the uh, wine is on there was open. So they finally closed. Uh, so right now um i had to play with this valve uh, right now um my suction pressure was still sitting at 50 but i had to adjust the valve and all that it's, it's feeding now uh first time compared to what it was doing before um i got a defrost let me see what it um do i'm uh let it give time to settle make sure my unit up there had kicked off Alright guys, so I think I overthought the situation. I don't know why I be overthinking things sometimes uh, when I get caught up. Um, so we got a new valve, got a new board and all that. And uh, the valve is feeding, as y'all can see, by itself. Uh, if y'all go back and watch my, uh, my other video, and you will see the valve not feeding at all. I probably just had to replace the valve. But... Um, my sight glass is still flashing up there, so I'm gonna give this time to like settle out before I add some gas uh, to it. Um, the box temp is pretty high, so my suction is pretty high. We're about like 50 um, until it get cooler and all. I'm pretty sure it'll drop down. So as long as it's feeding that coil like it's supposed to, I'm okay with it, and then uh, we're just gonna go from there. 
middle drop and see it's speeding. But I'm still gonna have to add, see if I add some gas though. Alright guys, so I'm letting this try to pull down and also I end up washing the condenser too. Even though I could see kind of clear through day, I decided to wash it. Um, I wanted to see if my sight glass would have cleared up if the condenser was clean. Um, but it's still flashing. Um, I'm trying to be mindful before I add gas. Um, I did leak check around here, really wasn't getting nothing. So. Um, in the other video, it was flashing. When I got here, sight glass was flashing. Uh, suction line was ice at 50 uh, PSI. Uh, and then this valve right here was not feeding. This valve, this valve right here was not feeding at all. It was not feeding a coil. So I couldn't determine between the board and that. Uh, so I ended up replacing the valve and the whole assembly. Uh, why not but i probably could have just replaced that valve along with uh this uh new rotor um but hey i want to be on the safe side i remember i think my co-worker told me they replaced this board before um so yeah um we just give it some time and monitor it but it's going to take time look at how much product we got Still nice and clear on the back. We at 255, so the valve is uh, calling to be wide open. I guess once it get towards the uh, set point, it will start stepping down and all that. Um, start closing on its own. Um, and then, like I said, uh, I feel crazy. I don't know why I will um, mess with the valve. I would turn the valve and then put this on. What you would do, just close the valve down and just leave it as that. This electronic valve right here is going to open it. You don't have to do no adjustments because this, this, this electronic valve is going to do it all. Alright guys, when it seems like I'm taking a step forward, I'm also taking a step backwards. Um, this one still got my head uh, ringing right about now. Um, I mean, the box temp is dropping down, um, but it's slow. Uh, mind you, we got a lot of product that's probably been thaw thawed out since like August 14th. So, uh, and when I came, it's like what, above 40 degrees? Um, and it's still thawed. So it's gonna take some extra time uh, for it to cool down but um as soon as I changed the valve I had the new board I mean it seemed like the valve is feeding and all that um the sight glass uh, I added a little teeny gas um I added a little teeny I didn't want my uh, hair pressure to get uh, any too high so I got around about 275 um uh, on a, a liquid side, um, I think it'd be much higher on a discharge. But on the liquid side, I got about uh, 275. Um, that's about if I convert. That's about what uh, 110, maybe 120 uh, uh, temperature, I believe. Uh, I got I got to look at my gauges or something. But my uh, suction pressure, I mean, is is right around like 55, 50. Um, I mean the bus tip is high. I'm uh see if it pulled down. Um, also all that heat in that box possibly could have that um sight glass flashing. Um, just gonna have to give it some time. Um, I mean I'm satisfied but I'm not uh, okay with it. Um, I feel like I got one uh, step checked off to where the valve was uh, feeding. Um, it's running wide open at 255, so it's calling for it to uh, run wide open. Um, such line is sweating really nice and cold. I don't have like nothing freezing back up, which is a good thing because uh, the first 
time I came, it was freezing back. Um, but I'm not having that issue now. Um, I'm trying to give much details as possible. I'm trying to be very understandable and all that. Um, I know some of you guys may know more than me, which is okay and all that. But if y'all have any tips, uh, let me know. Um, I really want to perfect uh, in this area, uh, especially with the, the E2V um, valves. I mean, it ain't bad or nothing. They, it's, it's pretty simple. It's just, I don't know, it can be complicated at times. And also, um, then at my site glass was flashing, I also decided to check across my dryer. I mean, I got the same feel and temperature, so I don't see anything oddly off in place. Anyway, I was talking to my coworker about it. I mean, uh, me and him, we was trying to bounce off. Uh, we trying to put our two hands together. I was telling him what I had uh, going on. Um, I got the set point is negative 10. So, I mean, if I wanted negative 10 degree cool, I need to be around about, what, negative 20 or so. So I need to be like around like 15 PSI, 16 in that area. Uh, Y'all see me where I had uh, just the valve to where it was running that low. Um, but when I put that um, that E2B valve back on, it raises back up. Um, and it just modulate on its own. I mean, I place it in defrost, it pumps down and all that. So I know that it's functioning like it's supposed to. Um, this is something I got to think on tonight. Uh, maybe I'm just overlooking something. Uh, I mean, it just can't be. And then my compressor had overheated. The reason why, because I had, I don't know how, but I think I closed off the, uh, I did something. I forgot. I did something, and it was my fault. Um, so, got it back running and going, but my turn for a good while. But anyway, let me know y'all input down below. Um, like I said, the suction pressure still high. Uh, it ain't dropping. Um, I know at first I I was thinking that the, I needed to change out the compressor. Uh, I'm talking about compressor. I thought about having to change out the compressor, but um, when I was looking at the the valve, I had plenty of pressure on the liquid side. When I look at the valve, you know, it wasn't even feeding or nothing. Um, so. It's a weird situation. Let me know your input. Uh, go back and watch my video. I think it's about three or two, four videos. I don't know how many videos it is. But go back and watch it. Uh, it's a, uh, a freezer that was running at 40 degrees. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I see y'all. Uh, be safe. I hope I wasn't being confusing. I felt like I was. I'm trying to be understanding.